Hey, my beautiful cancers, welcome to Swift Intuition. It's your girl, Mercy. If this is your first time on my channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if anything resonates. And if this is not your first time on my channel, hey, family, welcome back. Also, if you guys want to follow me on any of my other social medias or want to donate to this channel, please everything why well, i say please anyway everything will be in the description below i don't know just woke up pineapples everything will be in the description below and also guys i want to say big shout out to all of you my subscribers we have hit a thousand i don't care it may sound little to you but it is grand to me and i am just so happy and i am just want y'all to know like i'm feeling y'all love thank you guys for the comments thank you for the love like we in this together, baby. Now let's get in this energy. <laughs> All right. All right, Cancer, let's go. Messages of love and life for our beautiful Cancers. Messages of love and life for our beautiful Cancers. What is it that you know? Messages of love and life. Okay. All right, Cancer, right now we have the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords speaks of... Uh, feeling trapped. It, it's like feeling trapped in a situation, but it's like a mental trap. Uh, it, it, it's a fear of um, moving forward or taking that next leap, like not knowing what's after this. Um, this could be this could be like a feeling of someone that's in a marriage with children and the person doesn't leave because of children or don't want to leave because of some type of financial responsibilities or ties or um, just anything. It could be some some type of family alliance. I don't know. It just it 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 just means you feel constricted like, you know. It can go either way, <laughs> cancer. And not just that, but we have the page of cups. The page of cups speaks of a youthful energy, a youthful energy, uh, someone that wants to send, send a, a message in love, but this person, uh, probably isn't that, uh, let me say, uh, experienced in the love realm or like the emotional part. They're very, uh, you know, so this could be some cancer for some of you cancers. You could be thinking about going into a relationship or you've been in a relationship with somebody that was younger than you. And uh, because of that entanglement, like you probably feel kind of uh, trapped. Like you're like, if you're mentally already in, if you're having, if you're connecting with somebody that is younger than you and you feel like you shouldn't be because of whatever situation you're in, that's for some cancers. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let me. So this card that popped out. Okay, first of all, I was trying to keep it, you know, trying to keep it cool, but cancer this energy is going crazy. So we got the five of swords, right? All right, the five of swords is basically somebody that um that probably could have been deceptive, could have lied about something in the past, and you know, and now it's like if this once one person is regretting. The, the lies that they told because whatever is happening in the background, this other person is kind of like um, glowing up or, or, or going to a higher level. It feels like... Uh, hmm. For some of you guys, somebody uh, offered... Uh, tried to have a relationship, tried to have a relationship with someone, but like it was based off of uh lies or something. And I feel like uh, this person, whoever was telling the other person lies, you know, they felt that they had to to protect something, or or maybe it could be their self, it could be um, other parties I don't know yet. Oh, yeah. Because this other card came through. So, our, okay. So, the lover's card uh, popped out after that. We got the lover card and we have the two of swords, right? So, basically, I feel like because of, because of some type of lies that somebody told, they felt like they had to keep them up. And if it, and, and it was on, uh, it could have been somebody that you had just met. Maybe you were already in a relationship. You already had, had a wife, had a lover at the house or something like that. And you felt trapped. And that's the reason why you lied about it. 
or somebody lied to you about their lover. And with the two of swords, it was a decision that you had to make, a decision to be honest in, uh, about the lover and see, or, or about your other person. This is a third party situation. Messages of love and life are beautiful. Cancer. Ooh, Lord, why are these cards coming out? Ooh, Cancer. Y'all got messages out there. Well, okay. So we got the Ten of Pentacles. So, I mean, not the Ten, the King of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. So this is somebody that's stable. I feel like your person had to make a decision between a relationship that made them feel trapped because it could have been because of kids or those ties that I was talking about. And then and, and then they had to make a decision on some type of new love, a new beginning uh, with some with with the individual that that is stable, somebody that is uh, has has. Um, has financial stability, someone that is a provider, someone that could be older than them, or or their or, or, or their age or whatever. But like they they are they show promising uh, values and they show promising uh, characteristics of being loyal and long term. And I believe that cancer either you or your person lied to or or you know wasn't totally honest. Uh, to whoever this King of Pentacles is, yeah, mm -hmm. and because the middle of the deck is the Two of Swords, so this is a hard decision to make. It's like, am I gonna leave this situation where I know I got kids and I've I've invested time? Yeah, Rocky Rose is probably not as stable, but he got some good, and I know it's love. I feel trapped. I feel trapped. You can't see it, but I got invisible chains on me, baby. And that's why I had to make all these decisions. But now I have found somebody new. Somebody new came through that I'm lying to because I'm trapped with my lover. But this person is like a king of pentacles. This one, he he can take care. He can, he can provide. He can provide opportunities. <laughs> then we have the hermit mode. The hermit mode is somebody who pulled back their energy. I feel that cancer, if this you, like you pull back your energy from uh, from the lover that you felt trapped with, and it's like, and you pull back your energy because of these lies. It, it, like it's like these lies that you had to keep up to either make somebody else happy or to. Uh, it could have been just to weigh your options out. Then we have the temperance card right here. The temperance speaks of balance. The, the temperance speaks of trying to find um, a common denominator, trying to find a solution, basically, you know. Uh, and, and, and then the last card is strength, right? So I feel like right now, Cancer, you're... You're at the point where it's like, okay, I need to see what's best for me, you know, because I feel like being in this in, in this sneaky energy is making you feel some type of way because it's like if the other person is, uh, it's like this other person could be being seen or is guided or is filled with some type of light or energy can be getting um, attention at this time because every time I see this, card it makes me feel of like a glow up somebody's regretting not being honest to this person now this person is having this ascension this person is elevating this person every like like this person is receiving some type of divine light or blessing and this person's face is disgusted because the the the, the swords which are the crows depict uh mental anguish and stress it's a change happening it's a change happening. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's clarify a few of these things. Cancer, get a little deep. Okay. Spirit, what is the two of swords? Spirit, what is the two of swords? Ooh. Okay. So we have. Okay. So I said, what is the two of swords? But the main man in reverse fell out on the lovers. So. I feel like in this past uh, a, can uh, a cancer that there's that somebody is rethinking uh, a relationship in their past that could be preventing them from moving on to something new, something that's more stable. And then be and 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 then we got the gift in a journey, the gift in a journey. So the two of swords, that the decision is basically to leave the past cancer and move forward to 
to something new, something that's more promising to you. And this could be somebody that, that that's at a distance from you. This could be somebody that has to travel to you or you have to travel to them. And, and it's like moving towards whatever this stability is, moving towards this, this King of Pentacles. So Cancer, you're trying to move towards the relationship that you probably lied to somebody about, about your past. But now I feel like the decision is to either lead a past and move forward to somebody that I feel that can help build with you. And right now, I feel like in the recent past, you were in this hermit mode. You had to go go within. You're like, I got to get to my quiet place and really see what's going on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyway, if that resonated, please like and subscribe. And if you got to this point and you haven't subscribed by now, what are you doing? It's free for you and it's good for me. We in this together. <laughs> Cancer, I love you. Love yourself. Blessings.